Hello everyone, I'm Gabe Solis, one of the coordinators for the Decoupled Menus Initiative. I'd like to provide you with an update on what our team has been working on since Dries recommended this initiative at TripleCon Global. But first, let's quickly recap what the initiative is all about. The idea for this initiative is to work toward two goals. The first, give Drupal the best JavaScript developer experience of any CMS. The second, make Drupal the best decoupled CMS overall. To achieve the first goal, we need to establish a pattern for building, shipping, and maintaining JavaScript packages, and then we need to make sure that those packages are high quality and easy to use. To achieve the second goal, we also need to provide an excellent non-developer experience, even in a decoupled architecture. Today, fully decoupled architectures must sacrifice the non-developer experience or spend lots of time and resources to restore the features that you get out of the box in a more traditional, non-decoupled architecture. Since both of these goals are quite ambitious, Dries suggested that we focus on a single use case, a JavaScript menu component. In doing so, we would establish a pattern that we can repeat until we've achieved success. So, how are we doing and what have we been up to? Well, We've been putting our team together, validating the idea, and doing research and discovery. I'm happy to say that we have put together an awesome team of new and existing Drupal contributors. We've also validated the initiative idea and officially launched it as a Drupal core strategic initiative. What I'm most pleased with is that through our research and discovery, we've already got two really exciting things to show you. The first is that we wrote an RFC draft that standardizes how Drupal will manage standalone JavaScript packages. It covers many important topics that we believe will make our work a great contribution to the JavaScript ecosystem. Things like security coverage, stable releases, change logs, continuous integration, code styles, and more. What we built is a hypothetical DrupalCon web app. It serves as a reference single page JavaScript application. As you can see here, we have a menu at the top of the screen. Without web services for decoupled menus in Drupal core, JavaScript developers are often forced to hard code menu items like these into their applications. That means that every time a non-developer wants to change a menu item, a developer has to get involved. That developer must make the change in code, then rebuild the JavaScript application, and then must deploy those changes to production. These many steps mean that even simple changes can take hours or even days to complete, depending on the developer's availability and the complexity of the deployment process. Our reference application showed that providing menu items via Drupal's JSON API, these deployment steps could be completely eliminated and that a core JavaScript package could even reduce the lines of code that a JS developer has to write in the first place. This simple use menu React hook could be one of the core JavaScript packages that Drupal eventually publishes in order to improve the JS developer experience. Now, let's try following this logout link. Notice that it updates to a login link as soon as I do. That's because this is a module-defined menu link that's aware of the current user's authentication status. If we look at the back end for this menu, we can see some other module-defined and user-defined menu items. This home menu link is a module defined menu item too. Let's try enabling it. As expected, it appears as soon as we refresh the app. This simple change that would have taken a coordinated effort to make if it were hard coded takes only a click of a button, even in this fully decoupled architecture. What about menu hierarchies? The reference app can handle those as well. Let's reclaim some screen real estate by nesting these three track links into a dropdown. First, we'll need to create a text-only menu item that doesn't link to anything. Then, we use the existing Drupal menu UI to nest our three tracks underneath it. Again, we can refresh the app and the changes work as expected. You may recognize that we didn't build our own menu component. This component is actually using the React Bootstrap navbar that highlights a very important change that we made in this discovery phase. We realized that at this point in time, Drupal shouldn't be trying to reinvent the wheel by creating our own components with markup and styles. Instead, we should integrate well with the vibrant ecosystem of visual components that already exist so that it's easy for front-end developers to create and implement a unique look and feel for their projects. What about user-defined menu items and routing? 
Let's see what that could look like by creating a new basic page for our application. Since this is a DrupalCon app, let's embed video of the Dries note. We'll create a menu item right here on the node edit form and label it Watch Live. We'll also give it a custom URL alias. Sure enough, as soon as we refresh the app, our menu item appears. If we follow that link, it indeed respects our custom URL alias even in this single page application using React Router, a popular client-side routing library. What happens when the Dries node is no longer live? Could a non-developer make that change on the fly? While it wasn't on the original list of foreseen challenges, we also validated that these menus work with Drupal's access control and publishing workflows. All we have to do is unpublish the node. Since we followed that logout link earlier, the menu item will automatically disappear once we navigate to a different page, since we no longer have access to it as an anonymous visitor. As you can see, we've been working on some really cool and exciting things. We have a few next steps. What you saw in this demo isn't relying on very much new code at all, but there are a few minor changes that we need to get committed to core in order to add menu data to its HTTP APIs. The use menu react hook is only a proof of concept. We want to build and ship JavaScript packages that are well documented, production ready, and continuously tested. Just last week, we made our first commits to the repository that will become the first official Drupal core JavaScript package. We also need to drive the RFC draft to adoption. We're happy to report that we're already working with the Drupal security team, the Drupal core committer team, and the Drupal association to make all of it happen. Last, but definitely not least, we want your help. If you're interested in this project and want to volunteer or follow our progress, please come join us in Drupal Slack in the Decoupled Menus Initiative channel. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.